He was just on stage here at Snapdragon Stadium in May, putting on a show full of energy and fun. And it's hard to believe he was battling cancer. You would have never known it. And here to share more about Merkel cell carcinoma is Dr. Richard Shafu. Good morning. Uh, we Good talk morning. all about sun exposure and we talk about melanoma, but this was very different. And I think people, when we were waking up on Saturday morning, were saying, well, what? What did he have? What was going on sure. there? Sure. So Heather, uh, Merkel cell carcinoma is a very unusual skin cancer. It's obviously the most common is a basal cell. Uh, unfortunately, those don't spread rapidly or you know slow growing. Squamous cell a little more aggressive. Melanoma we all know about. It's, it's a killer if it's caught later on. And you're right. Merkel cell is the least common of these more aggressive or malignant cancers. They're diagnosed probably 3,000, 3,500 cases a year. So not a very common skin cancer. A lot of the uh, times that people can identify that they have this are first from symptoms, some type of symptom. What type of symptoms would be associated right, so, with this? So oftentimes, Charlie, uh, it would be some sort of a skin lesion. Uh, the classic, if there is a classic form, might be it may have a red color, maybe a little elevated or dome shaped, maybe bleeding or ulcerating, or ulcerating growing. But unfortunately, there's nothing uh, that's specific that you would look at and say, aha, that's a Merkel cell. I've got to get in to see my dermatologist. So you can't tell if so you, you look at it? Yeah, you really can't. And that's, that's why I think the critical take home message for the listening public is when you have anything that's growing on your skin, that's new, that's changing, you do need to go see a board certified dermatologist. Our family physicians are great at our general health. But really when it comes to looking at skin lesions and being able to tell the difference, as something as rare as Merkel cell carcinoma, you need that clinical experience. Somebody with that, the eyes that can look at this and say, you know, that looks really unusual. Let's mm -hmm. do a biopsy of it. Let's let the pathologist give yeah. us a diagnosis. And treating it, it's like any skin cancers, it's early diagnosis and early treatment is the most likely to have the best outcome. Mm -hmm. Merkel cell, unfortunately, can spread rapidly. The bone, the brains, uh, the liver. And, um, and if it's caught very early, it has a fairly high cure rate, 75%, not as high as other skin cancers. But if it's caught in a later stage, the survival rate dramatically drops. Isn't it so interesting to think all of this can happen just because we were outside? Exactly. Is, I mean, it just seems so simple, yet, you know, we aren't getting checked. Chrissy was just sitting here at this desk asking Shali and I, well, have you guys went to your dermatologist? And we were both like, well, um, we're getting there. Yes. The cause Make your appointment. See I your know. dermatologist once a year for a skin check. Why is that? Because like we said, you know, we can't always tell what's normal, what's abnormal. And there are certain areas that we can't see. We cannot see our scalp. We can't see our, our back, certain areas mm -hmm. that were, were just not visible to us. So, we, you know, the, the palms, the soles of our feet. So mm -hmm. those are areas that, that it can present, typically presents in sun exposed areas because the ultraviolet rays are gonna hit areas that are, are not covered typically. Um, but it's definitely, definitely should be part of our annual evaluation, especially we live in such a sun drenched community. We want to, you know, be careful. Are there risk factors? The major risk factor, unfortunately, still again, as Heather said, is sun exposure. Okay. Unprotected sun exposure. So what does that mean? That means if you're outside between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., that's when the sun's rays are at the highest, and that's where you're most likely to get ultraviolet exposure. Um, but you can, you, can, you can reduce that with frequent sunscreen use, SPF of 30, applying that, but reapplying it every couple of hours or more if you're outside sweating or in the water, but remember, there's certain areas that you cannot apply sunscreen to our eyes, so you definitely want to wear sunglasses that have UV protection. And don't forget our scalp. You want a hat that's got a SPF factor woven into it. We obviously can't put sunscreen on our scalp. Mm -hmm. uh, before we go, as far as Jimmy Buffett was concerned, are there any complications that come with this kind of rare skin cancer that we're talking about? Exactly. And unfortunately, most of the deaths that occur with Merkel cell um, carcinoma or melanomas um, Heather, are distant spread. So we can treat these as surgeons. We can surgically remove these tumors, mm -hmm. but, but the microscopic spread to, to organs such as the liver, the lung, the bone, the brains, those areas, unfortunately, uh, once a tumor gets into those areas, it can be very difficult to treat. And once it gets into our bloodstream, then it can spread to other areas. So it, it's, it's, it's problematic. There's not really great specific targeting to therapy for Merkel cell, again, because it is a very um, a very rare tumor, 
but there is more research being done and hopefully we're seeing we'll see more targeted therapy but right now it would be chemotherapy is mm. the best. but we all know chemotherapy also damages our own cells as well and right. you can only tolerate so much chemotherapy well the idea is just catching moment. it early and as early as early, you can early detection early treatment is a key right. dr Definitely. chapeau thank you good to see you both. good to see you